Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup second round match between Drick and Stryker. Uh, Drick with the Wood Elves chose to kick, won the toss and chose to kick. Stryker with the Death Roller Dwarves um, having to receive. Now, um, what's it called? Drick has got a 72% win rate in Champs Ladder, though that does include um, PS4. And Stryker has a 50 9% win rate with Dwarves in Champs Ladder. Um, so now, here's the thing. I don't like Drick's kick. Officer LOS and kick is something that works against people who aren't so good. It shouldn't work against people in the World Cup. So I think he maybe misjudged the opposition a bit there and probably should have gone wrestle on a lineman the way I probably should have done. But, you know, is what it is. Um, he, his extra skill with Mighty Blow on the Dancer for 16 hits with Mighty Blow seems a good idea. Um, striker went for Block and his Death Roller, which to be fair will be good if he wins this game. It's still alright, you know, 75% and knock down the tree. He's put, he's put it on the tree, that's what he's going for. I, th I think I would have rather had Diving Tackle on it and then, uh, you know, like put it on players, put it on elves, dancers and stuff with, with a tackle guy to make it hard for them. Um, but he's gone for blocks, you know, and if he wins this game, he'll be fighting other bash teams all the way to the final, so more or less. Yeah, probably all bash teams on this side of the draw, I think, now. So, you know, I can, I, I can certainly get behind the block, and I can get behind the death roller, because, you know, in this format, do you really need the extra apple and the extra reserve? You know? Not really. So, like, he's got 12 players, but obviously one of those is for when the death roller gets sent off. So... Yeah, I actually actually don't hate it. At first, I thought it was stupid. But then I thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, this is actually pretty good. So as you see, Drix split him in half a little bit. Um, one, two, three, four, five players on the tree. Knock people in the trees. Very good tactic, isn't it? And yeah, now it's looking pretty much over on turn one. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is looking really bad for for Striker. He's made a Kaz and a KO, which which is good. But this is uh, this is bad, isn't it? Having all these guys on the tree. He does get to make a proper cage here. Chooses not to. Um. I think I would have just made a normal cage here. Also, with this Y cage, Drick could leap in for a one dice. So I, I would have actually liked to have moved this guy up here to make it into a T shape, and then he could only get an uphill block. Death Roll getting the block there means that he can somewhat get the team back together. So it's not as bad as it could have been. I think I would have hit the, uh, the unprotected elf here to try and get the team more back together. Could have gone one, two. Three, four, and that would be way stronger position. But you know, you know, striker, striker. You know, this is there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of wild moves. I think over the course of the uh, of the game. But yeah, I think that's that's what I would have gone for. So you know, Drick just goes for the unprotected armor eight with mighty blow. Fair enough. You know, leap in was a bit crazy. He's going to think. He's going to get a better chance. He's going quite aggressive here, giving up some hits. But you know, he's he's still got the these screened off. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, six dwarves here. And five dwarves here. Um, that's not that's not what you want. Blocking with a ball carrier is also probably not what you want. So this is this is scary stuff for striker here. Very scary. Blocking without tackle gets the knockdown. And the cars. <laughs> That's really lucky, isn't it? Huge, 
hugely lucky really I mean it's not really lucky because there was um, there was like a 75% chance of it being badly hurt with the apple but still really lucky that it wasn't <laughs> you know lucky overall that it was well, not unlucky overall because he took a cows and a dancer but lucky that his apple worked wasn't it um, or lucky it was a badly hurt for the apple so so Drick's feeling good about his choice of one reroll one apple right now I was good with my choice of two, two re-rolls, to be honest. Let me roll dice to stay in the game. But yeah, if he'd lost that dancer there, it would have been bad times. So yeah, you know, Drick's got two dice in the ball here, probably. He's a little bit greedy. No, no, this is a strength two player. So yeah, I would have blitzed here with the. I uh, ah, no. disregard. That's a thrower, so he can he can maybe do the recovery. So yeah, fair enough. So he uses his rear on the dodge, which is unlucky. So his two dice is unfruitful, and now he's just got to dodge away, hasn't he, with his catcher? Tries to leap out. Because that's better than dodging when you're against tackle players like this. It'd be three plus two plus, wouldn't it? So if one of them didn't have, ah, nah, no, that was that was the right thing to do. If this guy didn't have dodge, it'd be better to. It's still better to leap. <laughs> it's always better to leap there. So that was that was a good leap. Um, Yeah, so you know, strikers actually defending the ball a bit here, which is which is what you should do against elves. It's not easy, so th this is this is pretty good from pretty good from striker to be honest. I, I think I would have like moved into a cage here now, um, or you could move the ball here and then have guard either side. You know, like an eye cage that would have been all right. Guard there, so you can only get uphill, because you know the the dancer is still always going to give Drick a chance. Finally, gets rid of the tree. There's a bit of a run around there. Yeah, it's turn four now. For, well, turn five next turn for striker. So he's got to start to get moving if he's going to score. Like a lot of teams can leave it late to score, you know, to move forward, but Dwarves, I find, really have to make progress over the course of the drive, so he's really got to get moving now. And really there's a good spot to move up here, but it brings him next to the tree, which sucks, doesn't it? The last thing you want is your cage stuck on the tree. Uh, absolutely horrible. Well, a ball carrier stuck on the tree is the worst, but even, you know, anything near the tree is, is you don't want your balls next to a tree. At all. <laughs> the troll slayer could have dodged here to serve the dance for another guy, but I think it, that would have been a bit crap. I think you had to get forward here. Casual two dice into one dice. I don't like that. He'd actually set up as well to stop the frenzy trap there. Um, so I thought he'd blitz this guy, but he went for the higher value leader. I really hate this play of just exposing him to a tree. I think I would have gone one square further back. Um, that would have obviously exposed you to the block here or something. So maybe it's just you know, in between here. I don't know. Something other than... I think Drick should have maybe gone for the two GFIs last action here. To base, base the ball with a... The tree is pretty damn good, isn't it? But Drick's just kind of like making two DBs. He's he's kind of given up the ghost, I think, on the high pressure now. Taking the blocks that were given to him and try and reposition a bit. He fails the stand up. So maybe he was going to go for the double GFI there. But this is a huge turn because this is basically. Um, Drick giving up the score here, isn't it? 
you could go it's got all this space um striker so if we pause it what i would do <laughs> and i'm not saying i'm right but what i would do is i would blitz with the death roller for a three dice block with block and then you know then you've got these two out in front these two behind you could make a pretty strong cage like quite far forward um let's see what what striker does Oh yeah, and tag tag the tree with like a lino's uh, long beard. Maybe last move. Oh no, you don't want to double GFI, do you? Maybe maybe just put this this long beard on the on the tree. Gets a Kaz. Mighty blow not needed. I mean, I guess this blitz and then leaving the uh, leaving the death roll on the tree is fine. So yeah, he gets he gets a cage. It could have been further forward, uh, but he makes the foul on the uh, on the leader, which you know, to be fair, it's a good foul, isn't it, with a death roller? Um, the death roller is going to get sent off anyway. He's got dirty player, but this lets Drick could have double GFI'd blitz and based the ball. Which I wouldn't have hated, but he just he just GFIs once to base the cage, base the backside of the cage. You know he's running out of players, Drake. Here, this isn't this isn't easy. Goes for the hit on Armor Eight again. And get a push, which means he's still going to get blocked. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would have rather had a cage like over here, because um, yeah, again, getting it based by a tree is quite undesirable. So it gets the guard in, so it's not a frenzy trap. Good job. Can't find the knockdown, but this and this is hard to protect now, isn't it? With two two guys taken out. Could swing it around over here, maybe. GFIs and stuff. But it's a bit tricky, isn't it? With only being movement six, so he just makes a few a few steps forward, and then rely on GFIs to to close it off. Fails the first one. Can't can't argue with blitzing a dancer. That's fair. And now it's base, but there's a guard there, so. Yeah, he just needs the last two GFIs to close it up, and fails, fails there. So that was that was actually pretty unlucky from Striker there, and that, that's actually pretty huge, isn't it? Because now this is a two dice blitz for Drake with some dice rolls. Not sure how to made that block because he would have had him for the recovery then, wouldn't he? That was. Uh, a little bit. I mean, it saved him a two plus dodge with dodge, but he would have had the recovery then, and he doesn't really have a player for the, for the recovery now. Gets the pow. Gets the KO. Where will the ball go though? Oh! <laughs> he goes to the blitzer, and he catches it. <laughs> It's it's striker's trademark, I think. Uh, Blitzer catching, catching bouncing balls, and there you go, just two GFIs to score. Do you make a three dice blitz with the death roller? Of course you do. Could have actually hit the dancer there, couldn't he? And gets a cas. He could have cast the dancer there. Oh my god, could you imagine that? Wow, yeah, Ooh, I would have gone for the Dancer, 100%. Makes the GFIs, and he's 1-0 up. He's successful 8-turn stall. Um, gave up a hit, 2 dice block on the thing. But, I mean, it wasn't his fault. You know, he only had to make 3 GFIs to not uh, to not give up that 2 dice ball. So that really wasn't, you know, wasn't bad play or anything. This is actually a pretty solid drive for Dwarves. It's tough, you know, playing a bash team against Drick. That's... Uh, that's better than most people would have man managed, I tell you. So, 
pretty good pretty good stuff from striker i think i think looking back his first game it was the it was the pitch invasion that made him go absolutely ham this was this was much more just normal game although there was a you know maybe he played a looser cage than i would have liked it is it is tough with slow movement guys isn't it and it's tough against Drick as well as i as i know from experience now Drick's obviously down to very few players um very much like i was he's got seven players well, that's enough for a, a proper one turner now <laughs> And he's actually he can actually do the assist and stuff. Got someone for the assist, so I kick. And he's got his reroll, saved his reroll. might do the pass first yeah a lot of people do the pushes first which is you know often wrong Rick does the right thing and gets it to him first I think people like to say you know that they did the right moves and could have got it but um he gets the ball. <laughs> double skulls in the board down if he got the push he would have probably need he wouldn't need a three plus without dodge to get there but then would have got the push and another push so um he could have it wasn't it wasn't nailed on at all um to be fair it wasn't it wasn't nailed on that one turn chance but it was a pretty good chance and pretty unlucky to one in 81 the the block there so eight players for the second half is you know it should be enough on offense with with elves you can run around a bit and uh you know, it's a, a very much a test thing in this. Dwarves are so slow. It's so hard to read. You know, it's hard for anybody, you know, but I think, I think Drick, after watching the first game that the striker had, is, you know, is willing to score early if he has to. And plus he's down players, you know, you've often got to score early. Um, but you know, he, I'm sure he thinks if he scores early, he'll get a shot on the ball to to make it two one. So he won't be afraid of scoring early like he would be maybe if he was playing me <laughs> or oh, whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah, he kind of it kind of goes for a. Going forward a bit here, giving himself the option of the quick score. I mean, he doesn't want to go to overtime, you know. If he goes to overtime, he might not have a team left. So he probably does want to score early anyway um, and go for the turnover because as hard as the turnover is, you don't want to go overtime with you already down three players. And this is this is the advantage of elves kicking and elves having actual options. <laughs> you know the dwarves score early on their drive; they just lose. <laughs> but elves can think, "Oh well, how many players have I lost? What do I need to do?" And you know they've just got so many choices that they can make. It's pretty good, isn't it? So again, he's kind of screened off, screened off half of the team here. What 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 I like the blitz here, that the blitz I like is the runner blitzing. One, two, three, four square, because then you can push into here and then you can hit him with tackle and hit him with tackle again. So I, I quite like I quite like the runner blitz on the the dancer here. At first of ob the obvious blitz is is the tackler, either of the tacklers, either coming around or hitting from there or whatever. But I think that was the play, the uh, the runner blitz into further tackle hits. However, he gets the book down. So that would not have worked, but I do think it was the the right thing to do um, overall, maximizing maximizing blocking opportunity, especially as he's moved in there anyway. Um, and he makes it really strong there. I think I mean, maybe he would have maybe he's gonna move that guy over here or something, but 
He prevents the score by doing that, doesn't he? Maybe, maybe Drick would have gone for the score if he hadn't moved, moved that guy behind. So absolutely, absolutely valid, valid decision there. Drick activating the tree for not a whole lot of value. A little bit risky, you know. You want to keep your tree activations to a minimum. Not saying he was wrong to activate it. <laughs> and you know, this is the problem with dwarves. All these dodges are scary with them having so much tackle. Whereas against humans, you've got, you've actually got a lot of dodge, you know. If, the right thing for striker here is to get all the tackle players on dodge players and the non-tacklers on the non-dodge guys. Most people would blitz the, the furthest forward guy, he's only based. I think blitzing him was probably the best because then that opens up the space for you to base the others and stuff. So I think this guy probably should have blitzed the catcher. But uh, he goes for the second catcher, you know, which isn't bad. It lets him bracket this catcher, but it makes it hard to deal with this one. He's really kind of over committing almost on this side now. Whereas if he blitz this guy, it would have taken much less to cover these two. And it does to cover these two, if you see what I mean. Now this looks like a route over here for Drick, maybe. Hmm. Is this going to be a tree blitz? No, just a tree basing two guys. Fair enough. Mighty blow blitz, of course. It does not get a car. Surprised about the direction. I thought it would have kept him in the tackle zone of the... Uh, of the war dancer. Maybe... A misclick or a mistake, I don't know. Maybe he's got plans for someone else to stand in a different spot, I don't know. No, I think I think you should want to keep him in the in the tackle zone on the dancer there, shouldn't you? Some nice moves there. Dodging away from tackle. And yeah, he's got quite a strong, but you know, he can, he can get people in the way here, absolutely. Blitz this guy, but doesn't. Oh no, he's going to blitz with a run. Yeah, of course. I thought it was a catcher, but it's not. So yeah, he got a blitz with a runner here. Yeah, so he, he did overcommit a little bit, didn't he? Maybe... Maybe somebody could have been in a bit of a different spot. Maybe this runner. If he blitzed the front guy, maybe he could have spared someone else over here. So he bases the ball, but it's a pretty easy clear, isn't it? So he really needed this dodge. Maybe he could have re-rolled it. With two re-rolls, it's hard to, though, isn't it? Especially with GFIs to get to there. So, if... If Drick wants to score, this is an easy score. I say easy. Two dice block and two GFIs. Makes them both. So, I quite like the four turn score. Because four turns for dwarves is tough. Oh, it's five turns. Oh, no, I quite like the five turn score. <laughs> so maybe he scores a turn too early there, Drick. I like the five. I think five turns is... You know, I think four turns is when dw the dwarves have to make real risks to score. With five turns, I think they can they can get away with it a lot more with five turns. Um, so, yeah, he's still got eight players. Drick. So you know, which should be enough. You know, you know, 
you've got to expect to be down a few players with L's. Maybe, maybe his nine would have been more what you'd be expecting. But he did have he did have the death roller for the whole of the first half. So he's not just facing one mighty blow. The kick is a short no, it's a long kick, but it was Ah. That was pretty short. I don't like that. I would have um the scatter was Max Scatter. Okay. So yeah, he was a bit unlucky on the kick, I guess. It looks like he'd done a short kick, he'd actually done a Long kick that scattered back three and then uh, and then bounced forward. And obviously, if you if you could have pinned him in the corner, though he still went this side where there's a where there's a runner. So he should have gone the other side, shouldn't he? Hmm. Anyway, striker gets a gets a re-roll there. And uh, what what you should do as wood elves is try to have your tree, if he roots, have him as a cage corner. What you shouldn't do if you're playing against wood elves is have a tree as a cage corner. <laughs> now, um, uh, he stood he stood up this player first. Um, it looked like he could have chained the tree into the onto the ball here. It would have been a blitz, and it would have been a dodge away from tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a GFI. So it would have taken a dodge away from tackle, and a GFI, and an assist, and cancelling an assist. <laughs> but he could have then one-diced him and pushed him the tree onto the ball, which would have been nice. So I don't think that was a good play at all. Um, somebody in chat said, well, I say somebody in chat. Guinness World Champion said he could have done that, but um, no, I think that was a bad, bad idea in retrospect. Um, you know, I was, I, you know, he saw it, but I didn't think it was, a, now that I see it, I don't think it was a good player. I think he should not have followed here, because that was a hell of a, that was a hell of a Kaz. Um, if he had not followed, there would have been a lovely way in to two dice the ball. Um, but because he's followed, he's, he's messed it up there, hasn't he? That was a big mistake by Drick. If he's not in there, then there's an assist and there's two dice on the ball. So yeah, he, you know, obviously he didn't know that he was going to get a Kaz, but still, I feel like maybe he should have. Yeah, it's still, it's not a mistake, but as it turned out, it was a horrible follow. <laughs> and I guess he could have still got one dice on the ball if he hadn't followed, which might have been a good idea. You know, I think there's a time when you've got to do desperation moves as elves. So now, obvious move is over here. Cage it up, he's got four players free. Um, get the hell away from the tree if you can. You know, I mean, he's far enough away from the tree. It obviously sucks that his cage is based by the tree. But he, he gets far enough away. I do think maybe it would have been better blitzing with this guy. Um, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think I would have made either, either block here. Because just keeping the dancers occupied is good enough, isn't it? I think that was maybe a maybe a bit of a waste of a reroll there. And yeah, the ball, you know the ball's pretty safe. You can only leap for a one dice. This is this isn't this isn't bad from a striker at all here. I'm not sure I like uh, Drick just making blocks here. I think I would be trying to get these. This dancer, I think I would have dodged him away, tried to get him back. You know, to deal with the threat. Um, we're going to get to the tree. So, while I was casting it live, I say you absolutely don't block here. Um, because, after, after he declared the block, <laughs> um, 
because the the thing is nothing nothing good can happen. This is in such a good spot because he, first of all he's got all the four plus to get Dauntless. If if he gets a push, you don't use stand firm, and now he's got to hit you uphill. So the tree sticking two players here for sure. Um, now if you block him and you you power him and you follow, that's pretty good because then he's got to use his blitz to clear this guy. Um, that's if you hit the troll slayer. If you hit the if you hit the blitzer and you power him, you you've got a worse spot because you you're not frenzied. You know it's no longer a frenzy trap. So you know you're freeing people up if you if you so you can't hit the uh, blitzer at all. And if you hit the troll slayer and you push him, if you don't follow, you freed up a player. If you follow, it's no longer a frenzy trap. So I think this was a definite mistake to activate the tree here for the block. Um, and I think maybe Drick shouldn't have been so concerned about these two players. You know, these players over here, I think he should have got trying to get back in the way of the ball. It's turn 14. And then he does make this block and he gets a both down. Now, obviously, a both down is, is a horrific punishment. But I think even the good things weren't that good here. And obviously, you know, um, Stryker could not go, could have gone five squares forward over here and made a completely safe cage. Um he elects not to make a completely safe cage with all those guys. Um, but, you know, it's still only a one dice to hit him, so it's it's not terrible. But I would have made a completely secure cage, personally. He gets a nice removal with a mighty blow. And another knockdown and another removal. So, you know, he certainly profited from, from not having a completely safe cage, but uh, I would have definitely gone with a completely safe cage there. You know, there's still the, the best the best trick can do is a one dice. Um, you know, which is a five plus to get the ball loose, which isn't great, is it? Drick's been actually pretty lucky with all of his dodges away from tackle. Uses his last reroll and just gets the push. So now because he didn't move these guys around last turn. Oh well, I say that. <laughs> he gets KO'd. <laughs> so yeah, just as I'm saying he's done quite well with his dodges away from tackle, he fails when he gets KO'd. So now the surf of the the surf of the dancer here. Um you can do a very nice one. Don't don't just need that guy in there. Blitz, push it, push out the uh, and you get to push out the. You didn't need this player in here. I think this was a bad move moving, moving that blitzer there. But he does he does do the the, the surf. Um, he did he did a nice surf against Nuru in the first game, and this is this is perfect. I'm surprised. Um, Drick used dodge because you know if he if he hadn't had his arm broken he'd have been there for a, a last turn ball sack attempt. So I'm a little bit surprised he, he used dodge on that hit. Um, but yeah, you know I think he could have had this this guard player still to act. But apart from that, great, great, absolute perfect surf because it because it also got the. Uh, Got the runner away from the catcher, but yeah, he could have had the, the guard player still to act, which I would have liked. And then moves the run at the correct square, so it's a four plus. Maybe you could have gone back one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So not really. Couldn't really have gone back. So it's a four plus for an uphill block. Three plus, sorry. <laughs> And he rolls a push and a skull. And uh, that is all she wrote. And Striker OD and his death roller dwarves are through the third round. <laughs> and and $250 on the line in these games as well. So, incredible. And I mean, he really, you know, yeah, he could have played safer on, on, on offense. But I thought his defense was fine. And his offense, his offense was fine at the end of the day. You know, he maximized... Uh, he maximised hits and everything. You know, 15 AV breaks from 44 blocks. Pretty, pretty good overall. You know, it's uh, not not too lucky. And obviously, the the, the scatter on the last turn was huge. 
But it was only it was only a two dice block because he'd rolled failed two GFIs out of you know the three that he had to make. So you know ultimately, um, yeah, well played by striker and deserves to win. You know, it, it, I'm great. I'm speechless almost. Absolutely fantastic. Well played to him. Unlucky, you know, Drick was kind of unlucky a little bit, but not especially really. I don't think. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.